pero éramos, este era un punto de, de encuentro de las dos ciudades, éramos una familia, no, no éramos los mexicanos y los norteamericanos. Uh, Religión en sí es algo que trae a las personas juntas. Así que si pones algo ahí que va a dividir, va a dividir el propósito de la montaña. Macris Tori es un icono religioso. Cuando vienes aquí y tienes una sensación de paz al estar en esta estatua de Jesús de 47 pies de Jesús. 20 años atrás nosotros vivíamos de Juárez y pasábamos y subíamos y no había problema. Este, cada año que era Semana Santa para nosotros venir a este punto era sentirnos libres, sentirnos una misma comunidad y este punto ahora con, el, con este muro nos tratan de dividir. Mira, that's the wall. Where is that? Right there. It's like telling you, you're not welcome. To me, El Paso, it's not the U.S. And to that, Juarez is not Mexico. To me, it's one community. And they both need each other to survive. People come up here to reflect on their lives. They come up here for special prayers and ask for favors. We're blessed to have such a remarkable icon in this area. This monument was built by a world famous sculptor, Urbisi Soler. In the 1930s, to have built what he built here under those conditions, it was a feat of artistic proportions and, and of course it had a religious overtone. From that point that he finished the monument and it was dedicated in 1940, now it has been passed on to the traditions of, of the volunteers. Personally, I'm a third generation volunteer of Mount Cristo Rey. My parents were instrumental in the maintenance and my grandparents were instrumental in the building of Mount Cristo Rey. Could you take a picture for us? And it was a legacy that was left to us to continue having Mount Cristo Rey accessible for people. The border is 300 yards probably from the back of this mountain. There's an area of about a quarter of a mile that has no fence. And it's so, so it's still an open community, an open walkway or gateway, and that's where people come across. So we still have the problems here with vandalism. We still have the problems with robberies and assaults that occur. It's a loss. It's a loss for our community. It's a loss for our culture and the faithful. The faithful sometimes keep away because of the, of the problems that we do have up here. If they were to put a fence or the wall, as, as they so call it, behind Mount Cristo Rey, not for the purpose of immigration, but simply the fact that it would protect our Mount Cristo Rey, I think it's a, it's a necessity. Le dije, pues vamos a Cristo Rey. Yo tenía curiosidad porque pasaba y lo veía y todo. Y dije, algún día voy a ir a, a, a subir, a, a subir hasta allá. Ya. We both have the same faith. We both pray to the Virgin of Guadalupe and to God. It's very special to me that he's still young and strong to go out there with me. Being religious, being a Catholic, we have very strong feelings and devotions. People from both sides of the border come here. Sí, a mí me gustaría que no hubiera esa barrera, que, pero pues la frontera tiene que existir, ¿verdad? tiene que haber un mundo sin fronteras, pues no sería otra cosa, ¿verdad? Ah. We made it. Another year. I know we're from different countries, but bottom line is we're still humans, and to me, that's a shame to try to divide people that way. Amen.